Splat Communications. For reliable information Congressman and updates, Paolo, please follow, subscribe, and please mabuti. don't skip ads. Yung isa-isa, yung isa-isa, hindi yung magpapaliwanag ka, nagginagantihan ka. No! Isang na bullshit kung ganyan ang sasabihin mo. Ang gusto ko nung marinig bilang isang simpleng mamamayan, dito napunta ang pera, dito napunta ang kusing, dito napunta sa mga proyekto. Ilabas ang resibo. Hindi biro. Kasi nung panahon ninyo, marami rin kongresman na kakilala ko na hindi pabor sa inyo, na hindi sumuporta sa inyo, pero hirap sa budget. Kawawa sa financial assistant para sa mga kababayan nila. Now, ikaw, Congressman Paolo Duterte, nagre-reklamo ka na pinapyasan ang pondo ng Dabao ng ilang bilyon, e may nalaan pala sa iyo na pondo na bilyon-bilyon na lumabas sa mga national news. Now, i-explain mo saan mo dinala ang pera niya at kung talaga bang naibuhos, ipakita mo ang isa-isa at sagutin mo yung mga project kung talagang may pinaglaanan. Yun na! Kung wala kayong tinatago, kung Guzman Paulo Duterte, bago ka kumontra, bago ka magsalita na kung ano-ano kay Speaker Romaldes, explain before you complete. Dahil nakakapagtaka, galit si Pangulong Duterte sa katiwalian, galit si Pangulong Duterte sa korupsyon, at ikaw ay bilang anak. Hindi ko sinasabing kurap ka. Kasi nakakapagtaka, bakit nagkaganon ang Dabao? Bakit binabaha? Lumalabas siya sa mga national news. Pag ganun, ang sama atang mag-isip, ang hindi maganda. Dahil nakakapagtaka, galit si Pangulong Duterte sa katiwalian, galit si Pangulong Duterte sa korupsyon, at ikaw ay bilang anak. Hindi ko sinasabing kurap ka. Good day ladies and gentlemen. Our video for today are excerpts from the vlog of for team hard hitting vlogger Cap Nino Barsaga as he questions incumbent Davao City 1st District Congressman Paolo Pulong Duterte where the billions of pesos allotted for his district from the year 2020 to 2022 was spent. This was at the time that his father, former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte was still in power. This is a reaction video. And as always, we shall reserve our full reaction at the end. For clarity and context. Based on our assessment on the online persona of veteran vlogger Cap Nino Barsaga as we mentioned in our previous videos, we honestly feel that he is a person of substance. He is not afraid to call out fake news peddlers and government officials while using crass, vulgar language for which he has a disclaimer prior to his videos. According to him, this type of language are his form of expression. His analysis and questions are spot on. He has been a political vlogger since the time of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. He says never monetizes his social media platforms and considers this as a hobby as he does not rely on the earnings of his vlogs. His commentaries are based on first-hand knowledge and personal experiences. He has proof to back up his statements. Based on these alone, we find him a very credible and feisty vlogger. Someone who walks the talk unlike others whose sources come from white earthworms, yes white earthworms. We agree and we are with him in exposing fake news peddlers and outright fake news. For us, his choice of other content like goofing off and wearing odd clothing based on his sexual preference does not matter. It is his right to express himself. So are you ready? We shall start immediately after our channel intro with shout outs. Thank you. Hello everyone, welcome to Splat Communications. Your channel for reliable, relevant and accurate information regarding sports, surveys, statistics, science, politics, people, lifestyle, arts, travel, and technology.
ganino daw napupunta ang pera? Mm, Eddie. Sino si Eddie? <laughs> Eddie. Wala ka na ba ibang argumento maisip sa utak mo? Tumindig kayo! Yung ganito? Tiniti ako, meron ding titindig sa tabi nyo. At parang lalang sigurado? Oh. Anong pangalan nyo ulit? Ha, Rastaman, yo! Happy human, happy zombie! What you gonna do? What you gonna do with a big butt butt? Wig wig wig! Shoutouts Shout Ahichi Aiza Pilago Loreto Tando Christy Cation Edna Alabag Melton Noemi Bagalawis Eduardo Kilban Jane Ilaga Ferry Coy Ridas Nora Echen Nako, Congressman Paulo Duterte, simple po ang tanong ko sa iyo, boss. Ah, una, hindi ako nagkakamali nung panahon ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte na kung saan siya ang iyong ama. Ikaw ang may pinakamalaking pondo sa mga Congressman. Ang tanong ko po ay ganito, Congressman. Saan napunta ang pondo na napunta sa iyo para sa mga kababayan mo para sa mga kadistrito mo saan po napunta pwede po bang paki-explain congressman paulo duterte yun ang gusto namin malaman saan napunta ang nakuhang umaabot di umano ng 30 billion dagdag budget noong 2020 hanggang 2023 at ang nakakapagtaka dito, mga kaibigan, ang Davao City ay lubog sa baha. Kung ano-anong sakuna, meron mga landslide. Saan napunta? Ang gusto namin malaman dito, ako bilang isang taxpayer, bilang isang simpleng mamamayang Pilipino, Congressman Paulo, ipaliwanag mo ng mabuti, yung isa-isa, yung isa-isa, hindi yung magpapaliwanag ka, na ginagantihan ka. No! Isang na bullshit kung ganyan ang sasabihin mo. Ang gusto ko nung narinig bilang isang simpleng mamamayan, dito napunta ang pera, dito napunta ang kusing, dito napunta sa mga proyekto. Ilabas ang resibo. Ika nga, parang si Mayor Isko Moreno, lahat ng project niya sa Kesa Manila nung siya ang mayor, may resibo. May ipinapakita siya. Ito ang pondo, itong nilaanan namin, at nakikita namin. Yung Metro Manila, pag dumadayo ako ng Metro Manila, nakita ko yung mga ginawa ni Mayor Isko Moreno. Sana ganun din ang gawin mo. Kung Christman Pulong Duterte, ipakita mo saan napunta ang bilyon budget mo. Dahil nakakapagtaka. Galit si Pangulong Duterte sa katiwalian, galit si Pangulong Duterte sa korupsyon, at ikaw ay bilang anak. Hindi ko sinasabing kurap ka. Kasi nakakapagtaka, bakit nagkaganon ang Dabao? Bakit binabaha? Lumalabas siya sa mga national news. Pag ganun, ang sama atang mag-isip. May pinakamalaking pondo ibinuhos sa Davao City nung panahon ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Roa Duterte. Pero bakit tilang walang asenso ang nasabing lungsod? Lubog sa tubig baha ang ilang lugar sa Davao City nitong nagdaang mga araw saan kaya dinala ni Congressman Paulo Pulong Duterte ang bilyon-bilyon na flood 
control pan nga from 2020 to 2023 wala pa rin na ipakikita ang resibo kung saan ginasta ng batang Duterte ang pondo para sa Davao City ngayon nakita natin kung anong nangyari sa Davao City nitong mga nakalipas at nakalipas na nito sobrang kawawa ang nangyayari sa mga kababayan natin dyan sa lungsod ng Davao City na kung saan na ipakita natin at malinaw na may malaking pondo nung panahon ni dating Pangulong Duterte ang dat ang kongresman at kasalukuyang kongresman na si kongresman Paulo Pulong Duterte ang gusto lang namin malaman dito hindi ito sa pagiging anti-Duterte hindi ito dahil sa pagiging pro-Duterte ang gusto namin kongresman Paulo Duterte yung malinaw na kasagutan Huwag natin isipin na ikaw ay ginagantihan ng administrasyon, ikaw ay ginagantihan ng kongreso, wala kaming pakialam kung anong awayan nyo ng kasalukuyang liderato ng House of Representatives na si House Speaker Martin Romualdez. Wala kaming pakialam dyan, Congressman Paulo. Ang pakialam namin at pakialam na ko bilang simpleng mamamayan saan napunta ang pera na nailaan sa distrito mo? Hindi biro. Kasi, nung panahon ninyo, marami rin kongresman na kakilala ko na hindi pabor sa inyo, na hindi sumuporta sa inyo, pero, hirap sa budget. Kawawa sa financial assistant para sa mga kababayan nila. Now, ikaw, kongresman Paulo Duterte, Nagre-reklamo ka na pinapyasan ang pondo ng Dabao ng ilang bilyon? E minalaan pala sa iyo na pondo na bilyon-bilyon na lumabas sa mga national news. Now, i-explain mo saan mo dinala ang pera niyan. At kung talaga bang naibuhos, ipakita mo ang isa-isa at sagutin mo yung mga project kung talagang may pinaglaanan. Yan na, kung wala kayong tinatago, Congressman Paulo Duterte, bago ka kumontra, bago ka magsalita na kung ano-ano kay Speaker Romaldes, explain before your complaint. Dear subscribers and followers, clearly Cap Nino Barsaga nailed it when he is inquiring about the staggering amount allocated to the 1st District of Davao under Congressman Pulong Duterte. This allocation was from 2020 up to 2022 during the term of his father former President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. We agree that this is a legitimate question because public funds are concerned. We also agree that this is not to accuse anyone especially Congressman Pulong of any wrongdoing at all. Congressman Pulong Duterte is just being requested to provide the specific projects that the 51.83 billion pesos allocation went. We are sure that there is a logical explanation for this. What is just alarming about this information is that, if web search sources are accurate, this 51.83 billion pesos is the largest allocation within a three-year period allocated to a congressional district in the history of Philippine Congress. Based on the video of Cap Nino, he said that other congressional districts who were not aligned then with the Duterte administration had difficulty in securing funding. Because of this Cap Nino is accurate to state that the reaction of Congressman Pulong Duterte to complain about the decrease of funding was nothing unusual as this was practiced during his father's term. Other non-Duterte aligned house lawmakers had difficulty in securing funding. Moreover, based on internet search budget allocations for 2020, each of the 300 representatives received only an average of 100 million with 70% of it or 70 million earmarked for hard projects or so-called infrastructure projects. To compare this amount to what the 1st District of Devo received is quite interesting. In fact, then Senator Ping Laxon stated that the 2021 budget, infrastructure allocations for 220 congressional districts range from over 1 billion pesos to the highest allocation of 15.3 billion pesos at that time. 
We also agree with Cap Nino's statement that instead of complaining and making unnecessary accusations that he is being politically targeted as a Duterte, Congressman Pulong should just answer it. This is a very wise observation because deflecting the 51.83 billion pesos and dismissing it as a part of dirty politics is not the way to answer the questions being raised. We feel that this is a deflection of the real issues and questions. Cap Nino mentioned that he is not accusing Congressman Pulong Duterte of anything but in the spirit of clarity, he should answer this point by point. We also agree to this point of view. Did you know that based on research, as of 2022, Davao City has 355,052 registered voters and for illustration purposes. If we divide the 51.83 billion pesos with the number of registered voters, it would yield approximately 146,000 pesos per voter. This amount should have had the approximate effect in terms of quality of life, services, and basic upliftment in the life of the residents of Davao City District 1. We do not mean that each voter should have received cash in that amount. We are fully aware that project funding are not distributed equally in cash. We repeat, just for context and for illustration purposes only. We have to remember though that the three years mentioned were pandemic periods to add context. Like Cap Nino, we are not accusing anyone of anything. To go beyond this specifically, we are not accusing the good lawmaker from Davao CTY and E wrong doing at all. These are just statement of facts, opinions and questions and not intended for anything else. Cap Nino took the high road when he said that as a taxpayer and as a simple citizen, he would just like to know the answers. What can you say about these dear subscribers and followers? Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. In behalf of the Splat Communications team, thank you. Till next time. Stay safe. Rosa out. Bye.